Hello, if you are my subscriber, you probably noticed that I love OLED displays. I have many projects uh, with OLED display on this channel. Feel free to check it. But now I am planning to make some battery battery powered project, so I need display that draws less current than OLED. So I will try it to use this Nokia LCD display. For testing purpose I created this clock project using Arduino Nano, Nokia LCD display and this real-time clock module. In the description of this video you can find code for this project. So in this video I will see how I can make this circuit power efficient. I will power this circuit with this battery pack which will give me around 4.5 volts. I will also connect multimeter to measure current draw. So let's see how much milliamps this setup draws. Okay, first result is this. My circuit draws 39 milliamps of current. That is too much if I want to power project with battery for a long time. You probably notice that display have backlight built in. If I turn off backlight, I get little better results. Now my project draws 16 milliamps, but this is still too much. Let's try a software solution. I will try to use library. There is library called low power library. This library can put your device to deep sleep. When microcontroller on Arduino is sleeping, it draws much less milliamps than usual. So let's try it. I included library in code. And I will use this line to put Arduino in sleep for one second. Each cycle in loop, part of code. After one second Arduino will wake up for a couple milliseconds just to update screen and then it will go to sleep again. And this repeats over and over. Let's try. Now we can see that while Arduino is sleeping, project, project draws 7 milliamps. And for a little amount of time where when it is awake, it draws 8 or more milliamps. I'm still not happy with results. Biggest problem is that there is other circuits on Arduino and on real-time clock module. And they are also drawing some current. We can see that both Arduino and uh, real-time clock have these two red LEDs that are glowing and there is also circuit on Arduino that is used to transfer data from PC to microcontroller. So only solution is to make standalone microcontroller and real-time clock chip on breadboard. And this is bare minimum project. Instead Arduino Nano, there is 80 mega microcontroller that I took from Arduino Uno. And now I'm not using a real-time clock module. Now I'm, I'm using same real-time clock chip, but I connected it directly to breadboard. You can see uh, that there is also additional battery that is used to keep time in a real-time clock chip when project is not powered. So let's try now. Now results are much better. This circuit draws less than 1 milliamp of current. When a microcontroller is sleeping it draws 0 0.2 milliamps. For example, with 
3000 mAh battery, I can run this project for more than one year. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed, enjoyed this little experiment. If you have more ideas how to make this circuit even more energy efficient, feel free to write them in comments. Bye.